Well, hello and welcome to our latest video. And yes, I'm wearing the cap. And what does the cap mean? The cap means, yes, I'm doing an unboxing or an unpackaging. Now, you might think you're doing a lot of unboxing, doing a lot of unpackaging. We like to see you. We like to see you cycling on the road with the with that weird view of the chest mount GoPro mounted on your on your chest. And yes, I agree. Um, I don't do sort of unboxings out of choice, but I have all these companies that want to send me stuff, that want to send me product, that want to sponsor my videos. Actually, none of them said they want to sponsor my videos. Not like some YouTubers, I know. But they do, they have sent me this product. So um, I'm afraid you're gonna to have to sit through this one because, you know, there is a kind of contractual relationship between me and these Chinese companies. If I don't make the video, then, um, you, you know, I just don't get I don't get the stuff, so it's got to be done, got to be done, and if I've got to do it, you've got to sit through it. So where is it from this time? It is from, and if you look around my channel, you will see, I'm going to I'm gonna slow down a bit. I, I don't know if I've told you about my friend uh, Henry Wildberry, and Henry Wildberry and his uh, good lady friend, Miss Cools, live in Northern California, and they make videos and they obviously live this really laid back chilled out cool uh, lifestyle which is completely uh, different from the kind of frenetic fast paced go 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 chasing the yankee dollar lifestyle that i've been forced forced to live by my family over the years so Sometimes I think I will channel, I will channel my Henry, my inner Henry Wildberry, uh, if you'll forgive that expression, and try and slow down a bit. So here is, here is the packaging. I do know what's in the packaging because I've checked the email that my friend Ryan sent me from WeDayDeals.com. Yes, there are two previous videos about stuff that this company has kindly sent me and they say they enjoy my videos, funnily enough. So, let's, let's, you always know, I've said this before, by the way, so some of my regular viewers might get, do you ever feel that like I'm, I'm repeating myself? If you think I'm repeating myself, then um, please don't tell me, because I'm not going to remember. Um, well, I can't remember what I was going to say. Right. right, the first item, and I, I've got to say this, Ryan, this is really kind of you to send this to me. But you sent me this to me, I think, in the first unboxing that I did. And this is a rechargeable USB front cycle light. And there it is. Actually, hmm. No, I'm, no I've done you a disservice, Ryan. I'm sorry about that. This is a larger version of the light that you sent me you sent me a very similar light very similar design but it was bigger than uh, sorry it was smaller than this whereas this is bigger than that one which was smaller let me just see if it, oh yeah yep it's already lit oh, oh no we can't see anything um oh actually now as you'll know if you have watched some of my videos i uh, turn these things off there we are there's a company, I won't mention the company because it's another Chinese company. I don't want to introduce an element of competition. They sent me a front light. Um, we Day Deal sent me another front light, the one previous to this, which was a bit smaller. And then I bought a front light from C-Sense and now We Day Deals have sent me this light. So I have an embarrassment. What would you call it? You'd call it a luminescence of front lights. You'd call it a, um, uh, and God said, let there be four front lights. And that's what I've got. So, uh, um, okay, it's a front light. It's a USB charger front light. There is the front, uh, sorry, there is the power button there on the top. And here is a silicon strap that will fit securely onto your bike. So that looks like a nice, solid, solid, decently made front light. And it costs, says he, checking his notes, £8.68 at current exchange le uh, levels. And you get a uh, USB charger, always useful. I now have 479 uh, USB chargers. So let me just put that 
to one side and I will say front light thank you let's see what else is in here and can you, can you see this by the way um, I'm going to hold it up it's a plastic bag plastic bag always useful uh, it's got something written on it can't see it and these are ah look see what these are I'm going to hold them up really close if you were making let's say you've got children uh, let's say you've got a large number of children or let's say you've got a big family and you want to hold a children's party and the theme of the party is zombies yes zombies but what these are is a kind of fake may even be genuine fake zombie pustules or if you like giant blackheads so if you there are one two three four five ten, ten, eight times eight interestingly enough that's 64 which you will know if you've watched the queen's gambit on netflix i saw the first episode and i thought it was all right i didn't carry on these are the number of squares on a chessboard so if you have 48 children they could each have one pustule let's say there if you had 24 children uh, they could have two pustules they could have one here and one here uh, if you had uh, three uh, sorry if you had 15 children then uh, I'm struggling with the maths here uh, 15 of them could have three and uh, three of the 15 could have four does that work does that work or is that the trouble and if you've got uh, elderly grandparents uh, many of us do have elderly grandparents that you visited over this Easter period during lockdown and you decide to to frighten them if your if your grandparents are of are of a nervous disposition i suggest you don't do this but if they are uh, fully uh, if they have all their senses they are fully compass mentis like our like our dear queen uh, for example uh, then you could put some of these on your face and then you could go around the scene and you could go, ah like that only i wouldn't do that if they were of a nervous disposition because they're not going to appreciate it. but um, these aren't these aren't zombie pustules Okay, kids, I'm sorry if I misled you there. These are tire, uh, inner tube patches. Now, uh, We Day Deals obviously know me very well. They've obviously sent, read, um, they've obviously watched my videos uh, because they have obviously said to themselves, Julian, you need 48 inner tube patches because when you go out for a long bike ride, and I must tell you, I've got to tell you this, by the way, I have signed up to do Le jog, or what somebody call it, Le jog, which for those people who are not uh, British or English or from the United Kingdom is Land's End to John O'Groats, which is an iconic bicycle ride of uh, about 875 miles, which I am going to do over nine days. And if you think that you're a 65 year old, I'm 65 now, by the way, yes, uh, thank you for your birthday wishes. Um, if you think, well, you're 65, you know, are you really sure you ought to be taking on something like that? Well, uh, I've signed up for it now, so I'm going to have to do it. So these are 48 inner tube patches and they cost 90p, right? And if you do the math, do the math, as they say, that is less than 2p per patch. I don't know how much patches nearly cost. Now, of course... Well, I suppose I ought to make this point. If they don't stick, then uh, even 2p is quite expensive. But if they do stick, and I haven't tested them, as you'll know, because I may just open the package, um, that seems pretty cheap. Moving on, moving on. And oh, this, is a, this is a big one. It's like, it's like some kind of clothing. Oh. Uh, what have we got here? Single use plastic bag with the old ziplock now you may know that um the first person to reach the south pole was a norwegian by the name of roald amundsen and the thing that roald amundsen um what what it made it possible for him to achieve this feat was he had ziplock bags and he carried all his belongings 174 
Ziploc bag. So when he when he settled down for the night there in the, the Antarctic, he would have to leaf through those 174 lip Ziploc bags in order to find what he needed. I'm sorry, this is all by way of... Ah, mate, yes, I saw the infant. It's a pair of bloomers, yes. Oh, they, they've watched my videos. They've said, yes, Julian, we know what an enormous ass you have. Or ass, as they say in America, you've got a big ass. Yeah, oh, no, ha. Julian, you got, uh, Julian, you've got a big ass. And so we've got bloomers. <laughs> no, they're not bloomers. They're not bloomers. They are, or this is, right, a, um, a cover for your bike. So if you take your bike in your car, uh, you obviously don't want to get the the uh, nice white leather seats of your Bentley or your, your Maserati or your Porsche or your Ferrari or Lamborghini, other car makes are available, um, dirty. And so you would put on this enormous pair of bloomers. And what I imagine, yeah, you see that? Is that gonna stretch? I suppose I ought to try this on a bicycle. Um, should I, should I try that on a bicycle? Uh, I'll do that in a bit, actually. Anyway, this costs, what does this cost? £9.40. I suppose you could sort of cut an opening there and then I could use them as bloomers. And bloomers uh, is, a, is a kind of English expression, um, which is not really in much use now. I suppose people in the United States or other people would call them knickers or pants or underpants. Bloomers tended to be used for for ladies' pants rather than gentlemen's pants. I'm not quite sure why, why that would be, but um, you can speculate yourself. So there is the, the bike cover, which costs £9.40. Moving on. And here we have, we have two more items. And this item is, it's like Christmas, isn't it? Yes, Happy Christmas, Julian. Or even, as my birthday was quite recently, I could say these are these are birthday presents. So, thank you. I have loads of people in China or Chinese companies who want to send me birthday presents. So I'm very, I'm very grateful. And these are, hmm. Well, this was called in the email that Ryan sent me, arm sleeves. And these are 90p, which I assume is 90p for the pair. Now, if you imagine that I, have almost, I, have almost, I, I am of a certain size to require underpants of that size, and yet I have rather short arms. Is that what these are for? Oh, they stretch, look. Oh, they stretch. Oh, rather nice, rather nice feeling, isn't it? Um, all right, shut up, Julie. That's enough of that. Um, they are, yeah, I suppose they are. Um, what do you, the, the thing about, uh, I'm not sure, they are uh, arm warmers. Are they arm warmers? I suppose they could work as arm warmers, yes, definitely. They also work as arm covers, I suppose. So, uh, to protect uh, your arms against the, the hot sun or, or things like that, then, uh, that works, doesn't it? What do you think? And they, they stretch. You can see my, my hairs poking out. Well, they are 90p, right? So that's 45p each, if we're talking about real English money, none of this Euro nonsense. No, I don't believe in that. Um, so actually, and, and they they go down, not, not go down, They they, because they stretch, they are really small, sort of folded up, and you could just stick them in a back pocket. So if you went out on a, on a kind of spring or even a summer day in this country, which tends to be pretty cold, you stick these in your back pocket, you get a bit cold, you put these on over your arms, job, jobs are good, as they say, jobs are good. And they are, as I said, 90p. So moving on, we've got a final item. And this final item here, I'm gonna hold it up close to the camera like that, is a pair of, let me just thingy, and I think they are a pair of, yes, a pair of tire, um, tire levers. Yeah, can you see that? Tire levers, but also a fork. So 
If you were to go uh, bike packing, which of course I would never do, uh, go bike packing. I'm not going to camp. You must be mad. I'm 65. I suppose you could use that as a fork, couldn't you? So you have, you have a bowl of, of kind of cold, congealed, tasteless, um, heat up when your heater doesn't work pasta, and then you could eat it like that. Like that. <laughs> and that works as a little bowl. I, I suppose if you had a bowl of, um, I don't know, peaches in syrup or something like that, you wouldn't get a lot on that that um, uh, spoon. Did I say spoon? You wouldn't get a great deal of stuff on that spoon, but I suppose it would work like that. So they are um, tire levers, quite useful, and actually they're very useful. You can, you can. I have a view, or I have a, I have a theory. By the way, um, who was it? Einstein. That's right. Einstein had his theory of evolution or evolution. No, was it? Was it evolution? No, it wasn't. It was theory of, it was a theory of something or other, wasn't it? And it I, I can't remember. God, isn't that terrible? E equals M C squared, and that meant that uh, M C was M C Hammer, obviously the, the uh, famous musician. Uh, e was um, what was E? Uh, e was something, right? Uh, anyway, E was equal to two lots of M C Hammer, and this uh, theory. Uh, took many years uh, to disprove and eventually they found that uh, Einstein's uh, knowledge of music was was lacking uh, and therefore this theory was complete was complete nonsense so that was that was Einstein's theory my theory is right and I know it's not of the same order of magnitude as Einstein. Somebody left a comment on my previous video and said, oh no, he's comparing himself to Shakespeare. I wasn't, by the way. I wasn't comparing myself to Shakespeare. I was just using a kind of Shakespearean analogy to illustrate some nonsense that I was talking in the video. My theory is that you can never have too many tire levers, right? So when I am finally laid to rest or laid to boredom, I have asked that on my gravestone, it says he never had enough tire levers. And these are, these are fairly expensive relatively compared to the other stuff. £2.35. But £2.35 for a pair of tire levers. Now, we day deals, I will get back on track now. Uh, we day deals .com is a Chinese company that produces a whole range of what you might call cheap or value. Uh, cycling and, and other sports related products and they are decently made some of the stuff is well made some of the stuff is probably better made than others but it's decently made value i.e. low priced products and there are many people including me who are on a budget and therefore appreciate the low value of some of these products so just running quickly through a pair of tire levers uh, arm sleeves um, zombie zombie stickers or inner tube patches, a rechargeable USB light, and an enormous pair of bloomers, which I may or may not be able to put onto a bicycle. So thanks for watching. Oh, don't go away. I'll try and put this on a bike. Don't go away. Well, there it is. And that is the uh, enormous pair of bloomers or the bike cover. And I've just put it on my, my time bicycle, which you can see there. It was a bit of a stretch. That's why I'm a little bit out of breath, actually, because uh, I suppose it needs to stretch to go on to the, uh, the wheels tightly. But it, it does it does fit. And once it kind of gets over that hump of the final rear wheel, it kind of slips, slips around quite nicely onto the wheel. So, uh, yeah, actually, I will find that quite useful because I do take my bike sometimes inside my car and um, that will keep it. That will keep it clean. So thank you, We Day Deals. I think that's uh, that's a and that bike cover, as I say, is nine pounds forty. So just to recap, it is WeDayDeals.com. Uh, they're a Chinese company. They produce good value products. Uh, if you order from China, obviously you're going to have to pay postage, and therefore it would make sense if you were to buy a number of products or perhaps club together with a friend of yours or whatever and therefore uh, split the postage. Because if you were to buy, uh, let's say, the arm sleeves 
at 90p. I don't know what the postage would be to the uh, United Kingdom, but you would have to pay postage on it. So, I hope you've enjoyed that video. Please remember, if you like my videos, you can uh, uh, you can like my videos. I mean, you do whatever it is that YouTube says you should do when you like a video. Um, you share <coughs> you share the video. That means you 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 get on your phone, right? You have a phone. You phone up your your, your uh, uncle Nigel, your uncle Vanya, whoever it is. And you say, Nigel, uh, Vanya, uh, Vanya, are you doing anything? No, no. Okay. Right. Well, would you like to watch uh, this video of? Uh, Julian's because you might uh, enjoy it and if you press the subscribe button which is somewhere is it is it there or is it is it there <laughs> gotcha or is it is it there <laughs> found it oh is there oh yes all right well press the subscribe button and again please remember that my videos raise money for the Vine Food Bank which is in Croydon in the United Kingdom. So every time somebody sits through one of these videos or sits through one of the adverts, to be more precise, uh, it raises a little bit of bunts, a little bit of bunts and burner uh, for people who are less fortunate than ourselves. So thanks for watching and see you next time. And maybe the next video I do will be actually out on the bike. Yes, wouldn't that be exciting? So see you next time. <laughs>